Welcome back guys, part two of our odd shaped box. And this is the final product. We've taped it up. Uh, we've protected it with some tape around the edges and the sides. Wrapped it in some brown crafting paper. Um, the paper can be picked up at the Dollar Tree, Walmart, or any packing stores. And underneath we have the uh, priority box that we use because it's got a thinner grade of cardboard. Um, I am going to ask the post office what their thoughts are if we had just, you know, modified the box and custom made it to fit without wrapping it in the paper. So I'm going to add that in part three so that that information can be shared with you. Some post office probably may vary. It may be a zero tolerance. I'm not 100% sure. Now, what I do with my products, and I'm sure in the future this is probably going to change based upon volume, is that when I get a product done... I'll send an image and a nice little message to my customer and address them by their name and thank them for their purchase and that their item is already packaged and ready to go to shipping uh, via USPS and that tracking number is shortly to follow. And then I send them an image of the package with their address on it so that it will be uh, obvious that that's what the shape looked like, hopefully. Um, this one was pretty obvious because it's pretty much the same shape as the, the one pound filet of smoked salmon. Um, and the customer will be at ease knowing, okay, I have a brown package coming and it's going to have a, a white label on it or whatever. Uh, I didn't put the white label on it when I made this video because I want to obviously protect the privacy of my customer. Um, so that is a tip that you can do. And then that will help also too, just in case. Uh, something comes about where you get a claim uh, saying that the item never was shipped to the correct address. Now, I know with PayPal, it's, if you follow that address and you're supposed to use that address, that's a verified address. But in this case, I can say, hey, look, I sent it out that day. And you can bounce that picture and that comment and that, that little content um, and bounce it off the, the shipping number. Uh, the, the tracking number and you can see that I packaged it. I addressed it. I sent it I, I inputted the tracking number and it was delivered So these are just little things that I do to make me sleep better at night And that might be something that you can do now. Like I said This is only a couple items a day. I do uh, It's a little easier for me um, I'm sure when things pick up, you know with different platforms and things of that nature I'm still gonna try to strive to do that I know in heavier volumes, it's a little tough for people to keep up with such a thing. But obviously, I'm going to have to come up with a system for that to still stay in play. Because that, in my mind, kind of protects me a little bit with my items when I send them out. Like I said, I like to really see it through and make sure that my customer is happy. And, you know, if they want to give me positive feedback, that's on them. If they don't, you know... Not saying anything at all is better than saying something negative, which I really focus on making sure that that would never happen because I take pride in what I do and I will continue to do so. So take that information and apply it to your own situation and see how it works out for you. Remember, you're going to have to twist it and tweak it a little bit, but hopefully it works out. Like and subscribe if you love what you're seeing right now. I'm going to do a part three to this. And we'll get some of the answers of the modification of the boxes. And we'll see how much this is going to cost us versus what it would have cost us had we put it in that um, priority mailbox. So thanks again, guys. And I'll catch you on the other side.